Muy, muy buenas tardes, Raza. Today is um, Tuesday, December 21st, meaning faltan tres días para la Navidad. Three days, guys. Three days. Um, quiero dar saludos to my mom. Hi, mommy. Um, uh, saludos to all the parents. Um, I know that it's hard right now. I know that the times are horrible with work, finances. Everything is a damn mess. And I know that. So if you find yourself in a situation like we are, um, just take it one day at a time. Don't stress out. I know it's very um, upsetting that um, it's not like uh, every year. Well, you know, I don't know. Everybody's finances might be different. Mine this year are really shaky. Um, like you guys seen or if you know us personally, which most of you guys do, John's work is very slow right now, so it's just horrible um, financial-wise because he is the main breadwinner here in the house. So with his job being as slow as it is, the extra ain't coming in. Um, anyways, like I said, I wanted to um, just give you all, all the parents, mandales un saludo. Um, you know, keep up the good work. Mira, as long as tienen casa, tienen la panza, la barriga llena, y tienen donde dormir calientitos con luz, you know, comida en la hielera, everything else don't matter. I swear to God it doesn't. As sad as it sounds or as much as you want to provide for your child, it's the love you give them, the roof over their head, a warm bed at night, and a lot of food because I know they're off of school right now. So that's all they freaking do. Pinches chiquillos panzones. Um... Like I said, there's four days left till Christmas. And, um, you know, I read. I read all day. It's not whatever. Um, estaba leyendo un post yo en Facebook hace como dos meses. It was about October. Poquito antes del Día de las Brujas. Y era Pomona Patch, because I'm a member of that group, whatever, whatever. And estaba leyendo yo el post because it was talking about um, shoplifting. Shoplifting came up on the post that Walgreens was closing a bunch of stores because of the shoplifting issues that are uncontrollable. So it caught my eye. I'm like sitting there like, okay, you know, San Francisco is way over there. We're in Pomona, way over here. WTF. Anyways, um, I was watching the news the other day and yeah, a bunch of um, shoplifting stories were coming up and it's not. So I decided to check it out for you guys and see what the heck is really going on. And <laughs> how can I say it? Holy cannoli? It is true, guys. I picked that up by a girl on um, one of the posts, by the way. I, I'm not that clever. You know, I have a potty mouth, which I'm trying to cut down, I swear. I've seen my episode from last week when we're talking about the truck driver. And man, okay, I was upset, so I do apologize to my viewers because I was talking way more, so I'm sorry. But yeah, I just need to really stop because I just cuss way, way too much. Um, okay, so like I was saying, the post from the Pomona patch two months ago, it said, lack of punishment for crimes in the state is causing Walgreens to close stores in San Francisco. Shoplifting not only hurting is the bottom line, but it's also endangering the store's employees and staff. Walgreens has closed 22 stores in the last five years. And this is quoted or the information comes here from the San Francisco Chronicle, which is the newspaper out there. Okay, I went on to doing my Google studies because all this is Google information. Um, it came out okay, in July of this year, 2022, the year coming up, Target will also be closing a lot of the San Francisco store locations due to all their crime. It's just way out of control out there. It is crazy. It's not good. You know, it's crazy. Um, CBS has also reported a huge rise in crime. It's 30% losses, and that's all due to shoplifting, guys. So I don't know what kind of crime exactly it is, 
I guess once you add your pennies and quarters, 30% es mucho dinero. Um, de cualquier manera, um, estos son los números de CVS y son 30%. Um, Best Buy, también donde compran computers, toners, printers, laptops, todo ese madre, cámaras, teles. Um, they're suffering losses también. Dice que... Um, that it's really sad because I don't know how, like, I tried looking, no encontré yo, um, the reason behind their statement. But they're saying that a lot of their losses are due to organized crime. So they're claiming that there is rings of these organized crimes. I don't know if they return it. I don't know. I don't know what, you know, take it, jack to. I don't know. But they say it's organized crime crime rings that are doing all this um their whole deal is they want to make your shopping experience still nice and warming instead of um i don't know who might be watching or where you're at but me as a matter of fact i know here in pomona and even in upland the the walmart i spoke about last episode also they have pretty much everything behind glass doors um, now that I'm reading into this shoplifting situation, it makes all the sense. So, claro, la gente va a querer, um, you know, proteger lo de, él, lo de ellos, so they lock everything up. Back in heyday, when Suzette was small, all they really had behind the glass used to be formula. Now, it's like razors, um, Shaving cream, like anything you can think of at these Walmarts is behind a glass door with a lock. I went to try to get mascara, stan cerrado, and um, I'm going to agree with Best Buy here because, yeah, they say that you lose a lot of clientele because sometimes the employees can't get to the customers fast enough when they're buzzing because they need a product. I myself walk away. Um... When Sue's Sunny Sol was a baby, we used to go right here to the Walmart on Mountain, the big one. It's the market and everything, a super center. And oh boy, it was horrible to wait on milk, like the formula. They would never come. 20 minute wait, 50 minute wait. It was just annoying. Like I would tell John, wait here, ask for the milk, let me do our shopping, and we'll be gone like by the time I get back. And yeah, twice I did that and they still hadn't come to help them. So it's just hard, you know, it, it, you know, I understand the staff sometimes short, you know, shorthand, the demand of the customers is big because any given time of the day, you go into one of these stores, they're super packed with people. So I understand where Best Buy is coming from, you know, but the way they say it's going to lead to their products also being behind closed, um, the glass doors because their losses are just huge and they can't afford this. They're going to either have to lock their stuff up or start closing the, um, the stores down, which is a shame because, like, fuck, really? Buy something. Save your money and buy it. Why do you have to steal it? Like, man. Um, anyways, the next comes um, the Coalition of Law Enforcement and Retail Estimates. Organized crimes are responsible for 45 billion dollars in losses a year guys 45 billion dollar losses per year okay that's overall every store in the industry of retail 45 billion dollars are lost due to shoplifters um that is a 50 percent rise in the last decade the asinos 50 percent uh increase um, San Francisco is very popular for shoplifting. If you search it on Google, because I didn't believe it, but I did. I looked it up. I searched it up. More than 100,000 cases will pop up of thieving, shoplifting, robbery, whatever it is you want to call it that has to do with a store and people stealing. 100,000 cases. That's a shame. Um, no tienen vergüenza up there in San Francisco. They literally record themselves with their cell phone, what they're doing, and put it on YouTube. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Será o no será pinche burla. You be the judge of that. Um, store employees 
and the staff, you know, whatever, they don't even want to bother getting involved anymore. Um, I guess it was in the news a few months back also, they killed um, one of the employees from a Rite Aid store when he um, confronted two thieves in the act. Something happened, words exchanged, people got crazy, the thieves ended up killing this guy. So all the stores now have the, um, they've been, you know, like the order, they have the order to not confront anybody, not do anything about it. So toda esta pinche raza up there are just taking advantage of it and they just go into the stores and just start robbing. Se llevan todo, put it in the bag. Um, the stores see it as a confrontation. It's not only an issue for the actual thief and the staff people, but they also see it as in the innocent bystanders, which are customers in this case, pueden salir también, you know, hurt or getting involved themselves. They just don't want to create bigger issues than what it is. So they just tell their people, you know what, you see something, don't even bother, let it go. It's not worth it. And like I said, once again, it's a shame because, um, a lot of people lo hace por maña, no porque tiene que. You know what I mean? Like, um, I was reading one um, statement last night from one of the women that was on one of the um, the newspaper reports. And she said that, I guess, um, she has small, small babies, small children. And that a lot of the times when she runs out of formula or diapers, she just goes and helps herself. She says, I know it ain't right, but at the same time, if there's no real punishment, why not? My kids need this stuff. So, okay, I'm not saying se la perdonamos, look the other way about it. It's still wrong, but at least it's formula and diapers. It ain't a freaking, I don't know, um, USB cord or a soda that you just didn't want to pay for or makeup that you can't afford, you know, or shaving cream or razors. Like, this is something that actually is to help your child, your children, you know. I personally always say that if worse ever came to worse, I would lie, cheat, steal, probably even kill if it would make my kids be safer in a better place. Now, maybe not kill, but everything else, I would do it in a heartbeat. I don't care. When it comes to my girls, you guys all know I won't even second thought that. So, you know, there's, there's a difference, I guess, but it's still wrong, you know, guys. A lot of these stores suffer a lot from all these losses. And just the other day, Newman Marcus, it's a huge designer bag, like handbag store at the mall up here in San Francisco. And they even got hit up the other day. They're calling these crimes um, grab and goes because they just come in, grab, and they go. So it turns out 10 thieves came into the store and they each grabbed like a bag and just walked out the door. Um, I guess there's a law that if the price, the value of whatever you're stealing is not under $950, it's considered a misdemeanor. So since it's not really anything to deal with, just to slap on the hand, they just decided, who cares, just do it. So, so he signed a bill to make it a felony, um, regardless of the price, and especially if it's something taken with the intent to resell. So hopefully that passes, because I think it would stop a lot of crime in the shoplifting, thieving area. Um, back in November of 2019, so fue hace dos años, Hicieron la proposición 47. That's Proposition 47, guys. Um, it passed, which was to reduce certain nonviolent felonies to misdemeanors so we can free resources such as police and prosecutors to deal with serious and violent offenders. Okay, well, after this Proposition 47, 47, Prop 47 passed, Everybody in the retail industry seen an increase of crimes, shoplifting crimes. So, like I was saying, bien sinvergüenzas, they don't care. Amonos y amonos lesio, right? <laughs> um, San Francisco is um, it has a serious homeless and drug problem. So they're saying that maybe that's why it's one of the largest cities that's top twenty that has this 
issue with shoplifting and retail losses. Um, it says that it is the highest um, rate in property crime, including theft, shoplifting, and vandalism. So once again, I guess these people see it as nothing's going to come out of it. Let's go chingar madres, right? Um, the penal code, guys, for shoplifting is 459.5PC, penal code. Um, makes shoplifting a misdemeanor, like I said, in California. So this is our penal code here for shoplifters. It defines the penal code as entering an open business with the intent to steal merchandise worth $950 or less. This crime, shoplifting, is punished by probation, fines, restitution, fees and up to six months in jail up to it doesn't say tops six months it's a, up to means you could do a week you could do hours you could do two months three months up to six months um another industry which is part of retail that's also suffering a lot guys son las markets las maquetas out there it's safeway market and they're saying that um, they can't deal with it no more. There's too much theft, too much crap going on. And um, they're up there in San Francisco also, but they're in the Castro neighborhood. Um, I don't know exactly where that is. Uh, but from what I read in the article, it's like, uh, not poor, but it's like medium, lower, lower slash medium class of people. So the Safeway market is affordable to everybody there, you know. On top of that, um, they had to close store hours, like short, shorten their work hours before they were open 24 hours a day. And because I guess these shoplifters come in late nights, the staff is super busy, so no se dan cuenta de lo que está pasando. So esta gente, pues, va a a chingar, a chingar madres, a a robarse bacon. And bread, bacon and eggs. Their new store hours are 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. And the Safeway management out there also speaks on that being an issue because they were open 24 hours because I guess out there work schedules are way off. So it made it um, flexible enough for people to come shop when they could. Um, they feel bad for their staff also because they had to make a bunch of cutbacks so a lot of people got laid off. And it's just bad, you know? Um, it's, it's bad. Like, they're talking about maybe even closing down those locations because they just don't want to deal with it. They're not making money. And that, that, like I said, it's a shame because if it's an affordable market in that area, think about the whole community, not just yourself. Okay, there's programs out there that can help you if you're really having issues that you need food. You know, you can apply for the EBT, which is here in California, which was known as the food stamps. If you're homeless or don't have money or um, just simply are low on income, like, you know, you get short hours and your money's not big. You can apply for this program, guys. You don't need to go to the market and jack carne you know what i mean like you can get help you can really get help look into it it's a um like you know the government or whatever state program um if you have kids under five the wake helps a lot so you know there's resources that you can get help with the pantries and food banks and stuff like that también so if you really are having issues with food, reach out for help because I'm pretty sure somebody can help spare a box of oatmeal, um, you know, some cereal, una bolsa de frijoles, you know, you don't gotta be doing this. I get it, it's not a big castigo que te agarren, pero te queda contigo forever. Like once you do the crime, it's gonna be there. And who knows, maybe tomorrow, you can possibly land a good job. And with that on your background, chances are you can't get it, you know? So think about the overall picture because honestly, people, it ain't worth it.
so yeah um you know going back to these um grab and goes back in november 2021 last month a uh, nordstrom's at in san francisco at the broadway plaza got ransacked by 80 people see this is what they mean by big organized crimes and um like rings and stuff so these 80 people show up in 10 different cars they start blocking exits and this and that they come in with ski masks and crowbars and um they hit up this um nordstrom's and they just start taking everything you know and it's it's like ugly to see because i don't know if you guys remember when the whole um like pandemic started and it was with the whole Black Lives Matter to the way they were looting, like, bien sinvergüenzas. It's something ugly to look at because it's, like, people get out of control and they're just, like, scary. Because, you know, Damo, if you're to try to confront them, they'll probably beat you or even shoot you. Like, you don't know what their outcome is going to be with you. So, I don't know, when, when they were on TV and all the looting and everything, I would be, like, so upset with my heart in my heart you know it's like how can these people act that way so think about it 80 people roll up to a nordstrom in the middle of the day other shoppers are there but these people are just taking everything left and right when the police finally got there from what i read it looked like the scene out of a movie people are running people are this this and that cops are chasing cars they left with in 10 different cars, which one did get caught. There was um, eight arrests. Uh, they confiscated two cars overall. And they took two guns. También. They confiscated these two guns. See, this started a bunch of issues that followed that same Friday, it says. Um, at the Union Square, they targeted the Louis Vuitton store the Brewberry store and Bloomingdale's. So they hit all the good stores and they don't know if these people related in the same ring with the other people or it was just coincidence or all these thieves just had a memo like this day attack, whatever it was, it was crazy that weekend. Um, it says that in, in San Francisco alone, um, the surgeon incidents are 88% higher from the previous year. That's almost a hundred a whole hundred percent, guys. Eighty-eight percent higher than the year before. Um the state, Illinois, has also suffered from these grab and goes. One of their most popular uh incidents was at the Brook Mall. Once again they hit Louis Vuitton. And it says that a bunch of thieves walked into the store. They had big old coats and stuff. And once they were in, sacaron trash bags and started just stuffing everything they could from the shelves and the, you know, um, racks and stuff. With all the merchandise taken, they ranked the amount to be $120,000 worth of goods. That is horrible. That is such a shame in itself. I get it. Louis Vuitton is nice. All the nice luxury stuff is nice. But come on. So they did get one of the cars back from these three cars. And that was already a stolen car anyway to begin with. So it was, you know, whatever. This being said, um, this whole shoplifting stuff just hurts everybody. I'm pretty sure none of the people I'm good with are shoplifters. But like I said, this was just something I wanted to share with you guys because I found it like hard to believe you know i mean back in my day when i was a kid yeah I would go to the store my cousin would always grab like a mascara and like here get one thank god i never had the you know a reason to shoplift so i'm good with that i'd be like nah just handle yourself you know but um yeah it hurts everybody it hurts everybody in the long run the losses are tremendous and it's just embarrassing when you get caught at the end so just think about it have the talk with your kids you know i i don't like my kid no one time at walmart she was in kindergarten five years old she wanted a uh, salt for the beer the lemon salt and i told her no i said put it back we're here to get you know i think it was like quick sodas or something for dinner I told her no she went ahead and kept bugging me can you buy it for me i told her no
So she held it in her little hand and I'm fine with that. You know, I'll let them grab stuff, but I tell them, you're not getting it. Don't ask if you're going to look at it. Go ahead. Well, um, we end up going home, right? This is when we were staying with my mom. So our drive from the Walmart was literally like five minutes away, four minutes away from my mom's. Well, when we get home, we start emptying our bags and stuff in the refrigerator with our groceries. And this little shit walks to us from the living room and she's sucking on the same little shaker. It looked like the old Lucas, like from our time, you know, Chiquito. So I look at her, oh my God, I almost felt like my head was gonna blow up. I was so angry. I said, where did you get that from? And she forgot, you know, that I had specifically told her no. So she just looks at me, so what? I'm like, where did you get it from? Did your dad buy that for you? She said, no. I'm like, where did you get it from? And she didn't know what to say. I said, you know what? We're going back to Walmart right now. You're going to go give it back to them. She started crying. She's like, I don't want to go back. I said, why? So, because I'm embarrassed. I'm going to walk. That's too bad. You're going back. You're going to give it back to them. Well, and if they call the police on you, good. I hope they take you to jail. I got in my car like it was nobody's business. I drove back to Walmart, parked the car. I grabbed her little arm up here by her little sweater and I took her inside the guy that was in front I'm not sure if he was the manager or just watching the machines I tell him hi excuse me we just left from here my and my daughter just stole this from you and I'm making her bring it back so the guy's like what the heck you know he looks at me like what and I'm looking at him like yeah and he's just like so he pulls me aside, he's like, what do I do? I'm going to tell her not to be doing that. You know, he was real young. He was like maybe 22. So I'm pretty sure he's a kid at heart himself. So he's just like, what do I do? So Suzette's like a few feet away from us and she's in tears crying because she's scared and embarrassed and everything, sad. So the guy tells her, okay, this time I won't call the police on you, but if you do it again, you're going to go to jail. You can't be doing that. So she's crying and she's looking at me and I'm looking at her and I just went, hey, I told you. Well, you never steal anything. So the guy's like, I'm going to give you a sticker because you were honest this time, but don't do it again. Well, this one just hated me for the next three days. So I can't believe that you embarrassed me. You took me back. I said, no. I said, look, it might be embarrassing to you right now. You're a child. I'm, all, I'm trying to teach you good morals in life overall. So when you're probably my age, maybe you'll be thankful that, you know, I showed you, you don't steal things from the store. And she's just like, she hated me for three days after that. She's like, you embarrassed me. You wanted me to go to jail. And I said, yes, I did. Yes, I do. And I don't care. You don't steal. You ask. And if you're told no, it's for a reason. You don't take it anyway. So, um, yeah, with that being said, guys, here's some quick facts that I wanted to share with you. Because it's like, what the heck? Um, the most shoplifted item in America is what, guys? Guess. Meat. Carne. Uh, it has emerged in the last couple of years, so all the kleptomaniacs and shoplifters love to take meat with them as they go. The most stolen book in entire history of everywhere that everybody takes in every state every place every corner of the world you guessed it guys the bible they say they don't understand why it's stolen if like churches give them away but whoever carries these bibles says it's the item or the book that's most stolen the bible the most expensive item ever stolen was Back in 1990, and it was from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, thieves took 13 pieces of art, and that was worth $500 million. Million, millones. Um, and that's it, guys. These are the information, informational facts that I have for you. So if you didn't know, now you know. You got it from me, la comadre B. And um, just want to invite you to join us Thursday. We'll be back to our regular program with the La Comadre Carol 626 and La Chingona de Riverside, my sister. 
So um, join us Thursday. We'll be going live with our blog. The topic on that is, since it's Christmas fast, fast approaching, what does Christmas mean to you? Do you break the bank with your gifts? And what traditions do you have that are different, meaning from other people? Like we get together the 24th, right when it hits midnight, we hug kiss, and then right away everybody opens gifts. You hang around, eat the last round of food, and then you go home. That's what we do for years. Um, our old tradition also was everybody got everybody a gift. Meaning like families, like I would get every single person and every single family a gift. That no longer exists because my family don't like each other. So we're down to like five people literally. But um, yeah, I would love for you guys to weigh in. I tagged a bunch of people on my Facebook, but nobody's answered. But, um, yeah, we will see you Thursday. Uh, follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. I also have a bunch of stuff to look at, which I promise I will be uploading more on Pinterest. So, follow us there. Follow me there. And I want to thank everybody for your support with all my videos on YouTube. I know it's not a big deal to you, but it is a big deal to me because... This all started just like a haha, -ha, and now it's like blown over. I don't have many viewers, um, but I do have constant viewers, so that's cool. Um, one of our friends, well, a few of my friends always tell me like, you should just start a reality show. You're that interesting. Thank you. That's what I'm like. I'm not pushing for it, but I give you guys a little insight of what goes on in our daily routine because, yeah, like I always say, by midday, noon, I already live three days. So it's cool to like see what we're up to all the time. Our circle's real tight. So you see we're always doing all kinds of stuff together. Usually the beginning of the year is not that crazy. But once we hit like September, everything hits one thing after another after another. So yeah, it's time to almost slow it down now. So another two weeks, we'll be back to our normal selves. Don't worry. But, um, yeah, like I said, thank you for your views. All the people that are subscribed to my channel, gracias también. I had a bunch of views on quick shorts of my kids, you know, their clowns and stuff. So, like, you know, keep following me, guys. Show me some love. I appreciate everybody. If you have a topic you want to bring up, let me know. That's what I'm here for. If you have comments, questions, concerns, o quieren rayarme la madre, también. I'm here for that, too. So, until Thursday... Ahí nos vemos. Be safe, be sane y al pasito, guys. All right? I love you so much. Thank you.